My name is Lionel Moise and I'm a news anchor. Haitian culture is just so rich and there are so many lessons that I've learned from growing up with my Haitian family and interacting with other Haitians either in Haiti or around the world. There's just a certain level of resilience um, and innovation that comes from our culture and it's something that I think you can see very prevalent in every industry. There's a Haitian somewhere running something there. Um, and so as an adult, it's something that I try to hold true to. When I think of, you know, my dad coming to the States at seven years old and not speaking English and him and his siblings now all owning their own businesses and being able to create their own future. And I grew up here speaking the language and I'm just trying to keep up with the success of them. And so as an adult, uh, I often think about, you know, what my father's childhood was like or what, you know, my grandparents were dealing with and I realize uh, the resilience that they had when they moved to America is something that I need to keep every day to continue to be successful. Uh, the field of journalism is very cutthroat um, and also very unforgiving. And so there are so many people who are putting doors in front of you and you know, things are subjective. So you may be the perfect person to host a show for someone else and to, some, to another publication, you may be nothing. I feel like keeping the ideals of going against the odds and persevering no matter what life throws your way is something that has specifically helped me. Being named on the Haitian Roundtable's 1804 list completely changed my life. So I have been in TV for about a decade. You know, people may know me from seeing me on a TV, maybe watching a story that I've done, but the amount of support and genuine uh, love and connections that I've made from this organization is something that is priceless. Uh, there are so many people who I don't even know who are in my corner rooting for me and it is the same on the on the other side. So when I'm meeting fellow Haitians, I'm trying to connect them and bring them in and invite them to events and support their work. And I think that is something that us as Haitians in America have not always had. And it's something that I know that my father certainly would have benefited from if he had it then. And I'm thankful to have a platform like HRT to not only elevate us, but challenge us to continue to do great work in our community.